5%. That's one in 20 kids. 5%. That's the number of school-aged children with ADHD. And it equates to approximately one child in every classroom. Children with ADHD often struggle at school. They frequently get up out of their chair. They have difficulty with tabletop work. And sometimes they even try to answer the question before it's been asked. These children are also three times more likely to have a learning disability in reading, writing or maths. My research investigates teacher knowledge of ADHD and their attitudes towards these children. There's a myriad of research that shows a direct link between teacher knowledge and attitudes and their behaviours in the classroom, which means that teachers need positive attitudes and strong knowledge about ADHD in order to educate these children. I surveyed teachers across New South Wales including Sydney and regional and rural areas. I found that teachers have a strong level of knowledge of ADHD. However, they have negative attitudes towards these children. You've all been looking at the screen and you've read the quote, your son will never be able to focus on anything. You looked at the picture of Michael Phelps and thought, that's ridiculous. Michael Phelps could focus on swimming and won 18 gold medals. How disheartening was that for his mother to hear at a parent-teacher interview? How disheartening would it be for a child with ADHD to know that their teacher had such negative attitudes? Can you imagine the school experience of a child who had a teacher that thought that? My research will tailor professional development for teachers with respect to ADHD. It will help increase their knowledge about ADHD and promote and encourage positive attitudes towards these children in the classroom. In this way, my research will help improve the school experience and the educational outcomes of all children who display ADHD-type behaviours.